Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hi, you guys. Welcome to another day in my life where I'm sharing with you what I ate on this day. My name is Kita. If you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You will enjoy these videos. So I'm going to show you everything I've eaten today. And we're also going to take a walk in my local park. It is about 90 degrees here in Atlanta, but I am still craving oatmeal. So that is what I'm making this morning. I'm going to add in a quarter cup of oats. And these are rolled oats. I'm also going to add in a quarter cup of water and a quarter cup of nut milk and since I was at the end of my silk almond milk I just went ahead and added all of that that was in there and it still came out very good so I'm going to go ahead and add that in now to make this more summery I am going to add some pineapple to this and of course some non-dairy yogurt from silk as well and it's so stinking good you guys will see this finished product in a moment but i wanted to go ahead and get that started up this morning and give it a nice little stir so it can go ahead and start heating up while i make my coffee so again if you are new i hope you choose to stick around and join our village we have a lot of fun here i like showing you what i'm eating in a day now i did start off vegan about four years ago and i have moved forward to more of a vegetarian diet because I did add in eggs so you will see some egg recipes in these types of what I eat in a day but for the most part it is a plant-based diet so I'm trying to stick to mostly plants and I do eat a lot of the alternative foods but I'm trying to lean more to that whole food lifestyle so as I progress and try to maintain my diet and make it a little bit better for myself i wanted to go ahead and share that with you guys here on my channel so i am going to go ahead and make some coffee now and you will see me add in my creamer and i do use the almond the silk almond creamer it is so good the cream one with the vanilla so delicious doesn't need any sugar it's sweet enough and I just like having that early in the morning so we're gonna go ahead and start stirring in our oatmeal I did add just a little bit of butter in here I do not add any type of sweetener because I do like the sweetness to come from my berries and from this banana that I'm going to mash up so I am mashing the banana at the bottom because I do like to scoop from the bottom and up so it will blend in and make the oats super sweet so here is the finished products here I have my oats I have my super sweet pineapple this pineapple was perfection it is so good and then I have my non dairy yogurt and this was the perfect breakfast for early in the morning it did keep me going for a long time because I knew I was going walking with my mother so I wanted to go ahead and eat this up and so we can go ahead and meet with her we have some cleaning products that we need to pick up and then we're going to go ahead and hit the park Now you know I had to give this a taste. You always have to taste your food. I always believe in that. Taste as you go and make sure you taste at the end and add any seasoning if you need anything. But this needed nothing and this coffee was so perfect. Oh, such a great breakfast. So let's move on. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the trail. This is a brand new trail to myself as well as my mother. We have never walked this trail, so we were a little bit confused on which way to go. So we took the stairs up and we saw that there was a wooded trail. So this is the trail that is not paved. We did not go this way, but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys that this is about a six mile hike. So it is non-paved about six miles and it is paved 
paved about three miles so we went back and got on the paved trail because I was not ready for a six mile hike I am not in shape like that anymore so we are going to work our way back up to that but I can tell you this trail was so beautiful and you're going to see so many things that I was like I just want to sit here and just relax it was the perfect walk it wasn't super hot because it was very shaded from all the trees but it was so nice and comfortable I was still hot from walking because you are walking but I just enjoyed this walk so much it didn't feel like I was truly exercising it really just felt like I was just taking time walking through the forest enjoying nature and that is what I enjoy so much now they do have a lake here and there is fishing there's also kayaking so you can do just about anything out here we saw a lot of people fishing on this day we saw one gentleman that was kayaking and fishing from his boat so it was such a nice day so I just wanted to show you guys what it was looking like there's an island out there they have these bird houses that were full of all different kinds of birds and even though it was on the water we weren't getting super bit up by mosquitoes but I'm sure there were a lot of mosquitoes but they had all type of little bat traps and birds so I'm guessing they were eating up all of the bugs that they could. My mother wanted to go out and get a picture of these turtles sitting on the log. So she walked down and then we continued on with our walk. So the entire paved walk is around this lake. So the about three miles that we did walk was around the lake itself. So there is a lookout part you guys will see in a moment. So um, this is me just having fun. Thought I would get a picture of myself just walking and talking with my mother. So this is just me out there, hot, sweaty, and but enjoying it. I truly enjoyed it every bit of it it was so much fun and then we saw this swing on the lookout mountain park so we went ahead and walked up there and sat down and look at the view it is so stinking gorgeous the islands alone are so gorgeous so of course we wanted to sit and rock because i was tired I was tired. My mother is talking to you guys and I'm like, they can't hear you. It's a voiceover. <laughs> And she's telling you guys that she's tired. She's 65 and she's trying to keep walking and I want to sit down and swing. And so that is what we did because I was truly tired. <laughs> So after swinging for a bit, we did go ahead and decide to finish out the trail. Now on the trail, we did run into some deer and it was so beautiful. I forgot to get a video, but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys my lunch. I had a plain tomato sandwich with some vegan mayo. I have my tomato, salt and pepper, and then I have some plain kettle chips and this just really hit the spot. I really needed more carbs because I just felt like I had depleted my carb source and I was feeling a little, 
I wouldn't say tired, tired, but I, I felt like I needed that little boost of some carbs. And so I went ahead and had this for lunch. Now we're gonna move on to dinner. And dinner, the kids and I decided to go ahead and do a taco night. And my children do eat meat but they do understand that I don't want to eat that. So my son went ahead and bought this Beyond Beef Grounds. And so that is what we had for our meat alternative on this taco night. I also wanted to not do a tortilla or a corn taco. So I went ahead and did a lettuce taco. So you guys will see how I did that later on. So I'm just going to go ahead and ground this up just like you would any other ground meat, but it is an alternative. I can tell you from experience, these do not smell the best. I am not, that is not something that I am like, mm, that smells so good to me. Uh, I don't know why, but hey, it doesn't. It does not smell the best, but it is so delicious once you go ahead and cook it up. So now I'm going to go ahead and add the taco seasoning. I did just get the Kroger brand, the low sodium, just trying to lower that sodium just a little bit. It is not a lot. So I went ahead and added that in and toasted the seasoning. Now I know a lot of people just throw it in there and they'll go ahead and throw the water in there, but I do like to go ahead and toast up the seasoning just slightly and that really brings out all of the flavors from the seasoning those peppers the onion the garlic everything that's in the mix is just toasted right up and so fragrant and then this started smelling really delicious so i went ahead and added in the water and i gave it its final stir before i just let it simmer and turn into delicious taco grounds <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and finish that up and then i'm going to show you my lettuce i went ahead and washed my lettuce and my salad spinner i do have romaine for myself and sliced up lettuce for for my family I have the tomato the thick and chunky salsa we have some sour cream and some cheese those are non they those are dairy so I didn't have any non dairy substitute here is my plate I just have my lettuce I have the taco meat with the salsa on top and then I put tomatoes on top of one and when I say this was so filling I was super full. We had a movie night. We enjoyed the movie. This was delicious. I am going to make it again. I did see this on a TikTok and I thought, you know, that looks so great, but they really did have it fully piled up, but this was great and so good. So thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Love talking to you guys in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.